Hello and thank you for having me. As mentioned, I am Dr. Smolana Swan from the Anesthesia Intensive Care Department of the Jurassic Public Hospital Corporation and I'll be offering a few insights from Guyana on education in the time of COVID-19. So a quick recap, back in March, the impact of COVID-19 was abrupt. After the first case was diagnosed, I would say within a day or even a few hours, the shift went from a few conversations of the pandemic to overnight fear and anxiety of the population. For us medical professionals, there was some degree of uncertainty and concern um, in terms of our practice and being exposed to COVID-19 patients. So in terms of the effects for us residents, we were greatly affected. Uh, at the time, we were, of course, preparing for our final exams. Fortunately, these exam dates were adjusted and working hours were reduced. However, there was, of course, the psychological stress of working and being exposed to COVID-19 myself and for many others our main concern was that for our family's safety in-house teaching had to be placed on hold and in few cases where um, we would have tried to persist um, it it really proved difficult and challenging to focus on on learning on any studies at all during that period that in those initial uh, weeks of the pandemic also there was limited day-to-day -day interaction with faculty and colleagues given that the main focus was now to limit contact and time spent in the operating rooms so after a few weeks we slowly began adjusting to COVID-19 of course at the forefront of our minds was the fact that we had our pending exams um, this required in my opinion a sheer will and greater personal resolve uh, personal responsibility um, in order to remain on track to our exams Fortunately, we were able to arrange many Zoom and Skype sessions and these were mainly focused on exam prep such as oral questions and answers. Um, they were mainly done in conjunc conjunction with our volunteers who would usually come from Canada and the US. Many of them would have visited Ghana before so we were familiar with um, those, some of those faces. And, so it was fortunate to have them even though they were unable to travel we had them virtually of course this virtual experience didn't come without technical challenges challenges such as um, sometimes poor internet speed maybe blackouts missed calls dropped calls they were all part of the experience um, of course these many of these sessions were done from our homes and this gave the advantage of time flexibility and theoretically more time to study however this proved to be quite a balancing act with with family and especially uh, young children at home from school as was the case with many of us the rest of the exam preparations were basically self-study and whenever possibly arranged in small groups. As it related to practice, many residents were required to work in our COVID ICU from the start of the pandemic and this continued right into exams. Of course, the mental and emotional toll for residents was evident and um, this was you know in the form of um, being tired being working long hours and at the same time um, having to go home to our families or for many as well they they were actually now living a, apart from their their families from their young children uh, one can say that the 
ICU management skills were improved uh, for some for these individuals um, but of course this came at the cost of time spent away from the operating rooms and from the focus on anesthesia care and learning importantly I must mention that the usually elective period of four months which was done in Canada during the third or fourth year of residency has been affected I was fortunately enough fortunate enough to uh, complete those four months in December of last year however since then no one has been able to to complete those um, that period and we hope to resume that as soon as possible I am also pleased to say that all residents were successful in their final exams however many believe that their performance could have and would have been better had it not been for the pandemic overall COVID-19 has significantly changed educational practices as we know it the new norm is yet to be established and we look forward to working with all interested parties to ensure the best standards of learning and practice thank you this is a snapshot pre-COVID era of some of us residents during a training session for regional anesthesia.